hi and welcome back in this tutorial i'm going to cover beef which is short for browser exploitation framework beef allows you to exploit web browsers and it comes pre-installed in kali linux so i'm going to start beef by going first to cd slash user slash share beef xss and type period slash beef and that will start the B framework. Now here you can see a UI link and the hook. The hook is going to be the infected JavaScript, which will take control over the browser. And the UI is for beef authentication page. So I will copy the UI link and let's log in. The username is beef and password beef. Here you can see the getting started page and some useful information. So now let's perform the browser attack. For that you need to copy the hook javascript link and go to your windows machine and look for example htdocs folder. And here create a very basic html page and put the hook into a script. Don't forget to save the page as index.html. Once done with that, open exam and start Apache and MySQL database server. And now you have an infected website. To access the web page, use your local IP address and press enter. Now I will switch to beef and you can see the hooked browser with the IP address and the Windows version. But if you go to the control panel you can see the new entry with the hooked address. If I try to open the same page again using my Linux machine, you will see another entry with the IP address and the operating system. At this point you can exploit the browser. In my case I'm going to select the Linux browser and go to commands and here we have a bunch of options. So first of all let's use the alert and put any message you want in the text field and click execute. And you can see here the alert has appeared. Another cool option is the social engineering pretty theft. This will create a fake Facebook login and it's gonna say your session has timed out. If you type your email and password and click login, then your credentials will be captured here. You can also redirect the user to a different page by using redirect browser and type the web address and click execute. After a few seconds the redirect link will appear in the browser. So that's it for this lesson, thanks for watching and I will see you next time.